that's based on. I enjoyed seeing part a part of the solar panels, and be, well, because I see a lot of solar panels uh, either on the roof of people's houses mm -hmm. or on other places. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was enjoyable. Okay, very good. All right, and uh, uh, Manny, would you like to share what you liked about the trip? What I liked about the trip was that when you went to the clean room, they had everything, like they were all in a suit, and they had everything taped down so that nothing could get, it, it, no dust could get inside the room. Right. And I liked seeing the James Webb's telescope, and that was something I would look forward to when they launch it. Good impressions and, and memories that they had. They, the, children, the children were truly excited. Oh, absolutely. And in absolutely. fact, they even showed um, uh, how oh, it was a Venus moving in front of the sun. Yes. They, they yes. showed that uh, yeah. demonstration and, and explained what was happening and told us about the precautions that we should take to make right. certain that we didn't yeah. view it with the uh, naked eye. So now that, that you mentioned that, did anybody have that opportunity to? Well, you can't, you to to uh, mm -hmm. you know talk to your parents about that when you got back. Yeah. Thought the lady did a great job on that presentation. Throw it right here. Mm -hmm. That's uh, yeah. Ayana. Ayana, what did you? I told my mom if she saw a video or if she saw Jupiter cross the sun because I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. Any anyone else want to talk about that? You share that with your parents. <laughs> Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. That's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very good. She wanted to say something. I told my mom how the um, the telescope could fold up because it was so big, yes. so that when it got into space, it would unfold, mm -hmm. so it could work. Right. <laughs> okay, <very good. laughs> I'm telling you, this is wonderful. A lot of good memories. A lot of good memories, mm -hmm. yes, indeedy. Yeah. We're going to talk about the exhibition. Um, how did you enjoy the exhibition and participating in that? When we had the uh, final showing of what you had created, for your school. Yeah, for your school, which took place yesterday. Yes. What time was it from? Uh, uh, from uh, actually from 9 to uh, 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how did you like participating in and showing what you had made uh, presenting? I thought it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Were you comfortable as you uh, had to share? Because the parents walked around the room to see, and, and you had to uh, put your project together and get the computer working. So how was that? I thought it was pretty easy since I was used to it. Okay, you were used to doing it. Okay, very good. Anyone else would like to share about some information about the, yes? Well, yeah. I thought it was enjoyable because first of all, I'm, oh, well, I was used to using all of the programming things and it was just pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yep. Were you nervous as the parents came around or? No. No. Okay. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, very good. I'm glad to have it. Now, um, as you continue um, working during the exhibition, uh, I'll go back to Ms. Evans, uh, with the young people as you began to finalize uh, some of the activities. Uh, and what were some of the things that you made certain that you highlighted as, you know, we began to wrap up the program with the students that you worked with? Before yesterday's mm -hmm. exhibition? Mm -hmm. um, I, I wanted to make sure that they were comfortable with, um, with what they built, that mm -hmm. they could run their programs. Um, unfortunately, in transit, some of our um, projects fell apart, oh. um, but they gave us quite a bit of time to get everything set up. So the students that had lost some pieces to their projects put them together, um, were, had plenty of time to get it all set up 
um, the programming working correctly. We ran into some technology glitches, which happens anytime <laughs> you have uh, you know a bunch of kids and computers, yes, and, and yes, it yeah. wasn't our building. Mm -hmm. Our computers are used to logging into our network. Um, so when we took them to a new location, they were having some issues logging in. So, so we had but we had plenty of time. We worked that out. The kids got everything together. Um, I think they did a fabulous job presenting. Um, that they knew what they were talking about. Uh, I like how um, the the group that presented uh, our uh, their project last. Um, that young man talked about all the difficulties that their group yes. ran into. Yes. How uh, you know they had to try different things and mm. some things didn't work. Didn't and work, yeah. um, finally, they were able to come up with a project mm. that did exactly what they wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then he he demonstrated and he got lots of oohs and ahs. So <laughs> I think the kids felt good and they felt comfortable presenting. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so yeah, they it was a great day. Right. And I think that's important that they realize it's trial and error. Yes. And right. getting a comfort level with making, you know, when you get to a point where you can't go any further and, mm -hmm. and you stump, having the willingness to, to continue to try. Um, and your uh, years of working in, in engineering, um, Ms. Mason, and, and even reflecting back to when you were younger, uh, trial and error, uh, having that willingness to, to, to try again, how important is that? when you look at the field of engineering and science? It's critical because, mm -hmm. you know, engineering is building, you know, basically building something. So mm -hmm. you're gonna have to, things are gonna fall apart as the kids experienced. And you have to be able to build it back. And, you, and sometimes you, something is not working and you have to kind of go all the way back until you find out what piece mm -hmm. is, is not working. Mm -hmm. And so that is that's very important. It's important to be determined you know, not to give up, and and right, you learn something right. new every time. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And, uh, what, with in the satellite, mm -hmm. uh, I guess uh, field, so to speak. Sometimes they build two. We call them a redundant. Mm -hmm. You know, so that way, if one shuts down, they can go to the other. Mm -hmm. You know, so in space, you know, if something actually shuts down, then it automatically they can they can shift it to the other one. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, mm -hmm. So it, it's very important. Okay. Mm -hmm. very good. Um, I did want to say with um, technology changing constantly, mm -hmm. we can't really teach our kids everything they need to know to be successful. There's just yes, no yes. way because what we teach them today is, is already out of date tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we need to teach them to, to be good learners. Mm -hmm. and, yes, yes. and by presenting them these opportunities to, for trial and error, to continue to experiment, to continue to learn. Um, we're really preparing them to just be lifelong learners mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and uh, continue on this field. I hope mm -hmm. at least some of them mm -hmm. progress mm -hmm. this way. All right, and so now we know that uh, summer, because school is out now. <laughs> it mm -hmm. is. School is out now. So what are some of the exciting things that you are going to do this summer? Let's hear from our Young people. Start with the young man because he had to stand up. Are you, uh, what sorts of things are you planning on doing this summer? How are you going to enjoy your summer? I might go to Rehoboth Beach a couple times. Okay. And I might go to Texas. Okay. Right. Now I noticed when you were in the waiting room, you were reading. You were reading a book. What were you reading? It was on Maddie's book. It was, it was something like you. The book of use, useless information. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you, do you enjoy reading? Yes. Okay, that's very important. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Thank you. All right, and Ayana, what are some of the things you're going to be doing this summer? My family and I are probably going to go to the pool, and I'm going to do some summer reading for Conrad, and I'm going to study with my mommy, and we're going to pr we'll probably go to Virginia. So Good. you said you're at Conrad, so you're going in the, uh, the math science yes. school. Wow. Okay, very that's, good. that's wonderful. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, Maddie, what sorts of things will you be doing? Um, this summer I'm going to summer camp, a sleepaway camp. Okay. What was that? A sleepaway camp. Okay. All right. Very good. 
Okay. 